Strength of an acid depends on its value of Ka. Ka, where the A is standing for acid, is going to be products, that's the hydronium ion in this case, and whatever the anion was, don't care what it is, I just wanna know what its concentration is, and then it will be over just the concentration of the acid, not the concentration of the water, which is just the solvent. So we do not include that. It's a liquid, these others are aqueous. So we're not talking about a molarity of this. We're only talking about molarities of these things. So that this is what we come up with for the definition of what Ka is. Now, a very strong acid completely dissociates. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means I wouldn't write that symbol. I would write that it, it went just one way, all to the right, and there was no backwards reaction at all. But if it completely dissociates, its Ka is going to be much, much greater than one. Because if it completely dissociates, you see its denominator is going to approach zero. And when you divide by zero, your calculator gets very upset at you because it's like, I can't show you infinity. So a very strong acid will have a very high Ka value. Here's some typical ones. Acetic acid, that's what the base of vinegar is. And you can see, times 10 to the negative fifth. That means there's not very many of these that, you know, this does not fall apart very much. There's not much of these. Sulfuric acid, on the other hand, one times 10 to the third, that's a thousand. Almost all of this has to fall apart so that these will be big numbers and this will be a very small number in order for this to end up being a thousand. And hydroiodic acid is even crazier. 10 to the ninth, all of the acid is dissociating into the components. The acidity constants, now you might remember pH. Well, this is the same sort of thing, only it's pKa. It's still a negative log. And notice this is log, not natural log. It's log, so it's base 10 of the whole Ka value, as opposed to pH, which was only concentrating on what the hydronium ion concentration was. So if we take these numbers and we go ahead and we figure out what the pKa is for them, when I do the acetic acid, I'll get 4.75. If I do the sulfuric acid, you'll notice that this is a positive number, and so the negative sign is gonna show up on that when I do the negative log. That'll be a negative three. And the hydroiodic acid, minus 9.48. So when you see a strong acid, it would actually end up having um, a negative value for the pKa. But the, the idea is that as Ka's get larger, pKa's go down, become smaller numbers, even going negative. As Ka goes up, then pKa goes down.